Today we're going to be departing from cocktails yet again to do something a little bit more informational, maybe a little bit fun. Today I thought what we would do is we would test a cocktail made with this juice and made with just ju this juice. We'll, we'll pair these against each other, Battle Royale style, and see which one makes a better cocktail. But before we get started, if you love this channel, smashy-poo the like button, smashy-poo the subscribe button. Uh, that tells the YouTube algorithm that you love us and you want to see more and we will show up in your recommended feed and you will get awesome cocktail content. I spent the better part of my week last week thinking about juice and super juice and fresh juice and cocktails and what makes the best cocktail. If it's true that this makes superior juice, okay? This is like the chamber squeezer that I normally use. I tell people that I use this on every video because you squeeze the fruit in there you, with peel and everything. Because you're squeezing the peel, you're extracting all of the oils in the peel, making a more vibrant flavored juice. And so therefore, it extracts better juice as like an a la minute, just extracting juice. But if you're doing something that you are gonna be bartending for a lot more people, you're gonna have to pre-juice and the normal citrus reamer is designed to ream the inside of the fruit, ignoring all the oils, right? So normally I would just use that like an electric citrus reamer and you don't get that same benefit of oil, of the oils. And then I realized that I had a masticating juicer and I thought if it's true that this makes more vibrant juice because we're utilizing the peel, then the masticating juicer would be that very same solution for pre-juicing your juice. Uh, the masticating juicer is called masticating because I don't know if you guys know this, but the definition of the word masticate is to chew up food as if you're chewing with teeth. And this juicer has a gear on the inside. It's also known as a slow juicer. And this gear spins very slowly and grinds up the entire fruit. It is meant to grind up the entire fruit. I love this juicer uh, or this style of juicer. It is designed to move the gear slowly so that you're not uh, generating heat from a fast spinning blade, which some people think uh, could manipulate the flavor of juice. So if you put a pineapple in a regular juicer, you would have to double strain that pineapple because there's so much fiber, there's so many fibers in the juice that you would have to extract it somehow. And I usually do that with like a fine strainer. But this juicer actually gets rid of all the pulp. It'll come out here, juice comes out here. And then you don't, there's no need for double straining, which is really awesome. So because this is designed to juice the entire fruit, that means that you're gonna be utilizing all of the oils from the peel when you extract your juice and it should have superior juice. So today I thought what we would do is we would test a cocktail made with this juice and made with this juice. We'll, we'll pair these against each other, battle royale style, and see which one makes a better cocktail. First things first, let's use our juicer to extract our juice. Why is that start button? Here it is. Oh, there's even the some pulp. juice coming in the pulp yeah. part. Well, it's because, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's, well, let's see. I mean, we're, we're gonna see. This should make, like, look at that juice though, dude. Mm -hmm. Super green. It's super green. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Question is, does it make a better cocktail? Because, you know, also a lot of people, they're always trying to avoid the pith, avoid the pith. We're actually making, I mean, the pith is here, but it it definitely extracted flavor from the pith mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, because it's like opaque. Imagine if you went to a bar and they gave, and like you were watching them make the cocktail and this is what the lime juice looked like, dude. Yeah, like, yeah that does not look like juice. But will it make an incredible daiquiri? That's what we're gonna find out today. This is what I think, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no way to test it today, but we're gonna have to test this and give people an update. I think this is gonna be like super juice where it's like, it's really good for things like mojitos and daiquiris and whatever, and you know, like nice bright lime flavor, but it's gonna be so lime forward and so strong in the lime flavor department that it, it could like run over more nuanced drinks. So if you have something that has lime in it, that utilizes the sharpness of lime, but you don't want to like that's not the dominant flavor profile in the drink. It's it's gonna it will ruin that drink. I think. Look at this juice, dude. It's crazy. It's like it's like paint. <laughs> it is like paint. It's like you know what it's like. It's like uh, it's like uh, pastel or green. Mm -hmm. it's like, if nothing else, this this episode is gonna give a, people a lot to talk about. We're gonna do this in separate tins. Can you hand me some? Uh, I don't know. What do we wanna do? A daiquiri? You wanna give me some Havana Club? Thank you, sir. One to one I think we'll do a. Uh, Three quarter, three quarter, two. We don't want to do a one three quarter, two because I think that's too much lime juice. I think it's going to be too, it might even be a little off balance with that. So I think we're going to do a three quarter, three quarter, two. Okay. We're going to cheat towards sweetness on this daiquiri a little bit. Oh, 
Wow. There they are, side by side. Almost twice as much. Almost know, twice as much. 30% more or something, yeah. And uh, look at the color difference oh, wow. too. Yeah. I mean like... One looks like juice, the other one is like completely <laughs> green and opaque. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Start with simple syrup. Three quarters simple, in case anyone wants to make this at home. And you know, I don't know if this is gonna make any difference, but I'm gonna use a completely different jigger to pour these limes so that there's no like, I don't know if cross-contamination is a thing, but I mean, it is a thing, but I mean like in this scenario, but still, sure. let's just not have the limes touch. Mm -hmm. That was a bit of a heavy pour. You were like, should I drink it? Should I not drink it? I, saw I was, it. I was. I was like, should I just drink the rum? But I thought better of it. Although there are gonna be a lot of people in the comments being like, you just wasted Havana Club, what's wrong with you? And it's like, dude, Havana Club is just like middling rum in every other part of the world. And the only reason why people fetishize it is because you can't get it here. It's good rum, I like it. It's good mixing rum, but it's, it's you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just, it's fine. You know, it's not like, Crazy incredible. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to drink out of uh, non-chilled glasses, but I think that's fine. Chilling inhibits flavor, so. This is the... This is the super juice. Mm. Well, not super juice. This is the uh, extracted with the slow juicer. Oh wow, that is uh, quite the difference. One is white and the other one is green. Yes, one is like white with a green tinge. The other one is green. The slow juicer one has a lot more foam, it looks like, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you know, it's thicker foam is what it is. Well, I don't know, it's not more. No, it's not okay. more. I think it's just more visible because right. against the green. Because yeah. if you look at it here, it's like, it's very, very consistent foam. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a tinge more. But I think that the, the, the texture of this is gonna be completely different. Yeah. All right, so which one should I do? Just like the regular Just daiquiri first? Regular, yeah. Let's start with the baseline. Yeah, that's good. Lime flavor. Yeah, this is a daiquiri, it's nice. You know? The thing is, is that to use this more vibrant lime juice, all you need to do is just like respec your cocktails a little bit to adjust for it, adjust for the more vibrant lime. Whoa. Wow. And a little bit more bitter. Because mm, of the pit? Like a little, but, but it's not, a, here's the thing. So a lot of people talk about pith and the bitterness that imparts as if it is something to be avoided because somebody told them you should avoid it and you should only get the pure lime flavor. But I kind of feel like the pith, the bitterness of the pith actually in small quantities does a cocktail some service because that bitter flavor, right? I don't know if we should be avoiding it. I think that that bitter flavor helps to temper the sweetness. That said, this cocktail, it needs to have more sugar because it is it's not super tart, like you're getting the balance of the sugar, but it's so lime forward. I mean, it's so lime forward, it almost runs over the rum. Like if you're gonna use lime juice like this, you should almost wanna use like a very robust, maybe aged rum or something like, the rum in this doesn't read, it's like all lime. I mean, you do get a little bit of the rum on the back end, but it's so flavorful that it's all lime. So this type of extraction, is gonna be really good for mojitos and daiquiris and stuff. If you want something that's super lime forward, you're definitely gonna want to like a two to one simple syrup, maybe even in the same ratio. It might really need that level of sweetness to kind of bring it up and balance it out properly. The question is, is like, is it better? I mean, that's a subjective thing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's just like more of the rum is lost in the lime here, I think, mm -hmm. you know? But it is super pleasant. It is super pleasant. So, how's the mouthfeel? Is it thicker? The mouthfeel is thicker. It's a little bit more milkshakey. It's a little thicker. It's super clean though. I mean, there's not like a lot of like stuff. There's not like a lot of stuff floating around in there. But there's definitely more to it for sure. I don't know. I feel like I said like this is gonna like this versus this, and we're gonna crown a winner. But I, I don't think either one wins. I think they're completely different drinks, and you really need to decide what it is that you want with your drink. If you want something that tastes like a lime candy, you go with this one. Mm -hmm. If you want something that has a little bit more complexity and a little bit more dimension, you want to go with this one. And I know I made this one sound 
better because it has more dimension, I, but I, there are definite uses for this. So is this a new type of juice you should include in your arsenal? I would, mm -hmm. I would totally include it, especially if you want to use like little amounts of it to have like, to like with maximum impact of flavor. Right. Like you can use little amounts to put in like a very striking kind of side flavor of lime in something. I would definitely utilize it for sure. I, I like those glasses, where can I pick up a pair? Oh, do you like these glasses? These glasses are awesome. Actually, some of the top bartenders in the business are using these glasses. You can pick these glasses up on our Amazon store. All you gotta do is go to the description below and uh, click that link and you will be brought to the page where you can buy these. And you know what would be even better with those glasses? I think a dehydrated lime as a garnish on this would be like the oh, creme of the... Oh, yeah. Well, these are, uh, this is actually uh, black our dehydrated meat. black limes, but black lime is actually kind of a cool cool thing. Utilized a lot in uh, Persian cooking, actually. Bam, there's that dehydrated lime. Yum, it smells so good. As Maria said, you can pick up garnishes, uh, the marvelous barfly garnishes on our website, theeducatedbarfly.com. Just go to the shop, check them out. We do lime, we do lemon, we do blood orange, we do orange. Uh, uh, we discontinued grapefruit for the time being. We might bring it back, I'm not sure. And they change seasonally. So as the seasons change, we kind of add and subtract some. Go get your garnishes, smashy poo the like button, smashy poo the subscribe button if you like this channel, and you will have more awesome, amazing cocktail content. I will see you guys on another time.